a focus spanner based on the Draconic Aura skill. Draconic Aura skill is an imbalance skill that special that triggers when you attack. It increases your damage by, I think, 30% of your attack at that point in time. So that being said, let's go into the units. I believe it's just recharged. We have Alir uh, with his weapon Liberation. As Silas but the is minus one. At the start turn, if HP is 25% or above, grants charge to both him and support partners with free speeds of him from one turn. Then at the start of combat, if HP is 25% or above, grants attack, speed defense, rest plus five to him during combat. And then fix speed defense minus X on the foo. X is the number of distance game titles among allies uh, when free space of him times four plus four so max is twelve. So free carriage from a different title would work. A clarification sake, if you have say two characters from Awakening and one character from Genealogy of the Holy War, you're only going to get the two because it's two different titles. But if you say you have one for Genealogy, you have one from Awakening, and then you have one from, say, Heroes, that's free, so it works, and that's the maximum effect. And then, if his speed is greater than the full speed, reduce damage from attacks during combat and other effect specials, it's going to work by the difference of stats as a percentage times 4 up to 40%. And that's 10 to the number there. And then Charge is that he can move up to three spaces in a card direction, so up, down, left, or right. Uh, cannot move through foes, strains, that blocks effects, or skills like obstruct and stuff like and cannot warp. So like, mo grants movement treat is grant movement treat is as a warp movement, sorry. So you're gonna go over two charge thanks to weapon, which signs by 30% of his attack, so I was right, basically. I couldn't remember Dragonagora, so that's why I said that. Speed, attack speed ideal four. At the start of combat, if his C speed is 100% or bonus active him. Attack speed plus seven. If both continues your mat, you get him plus two from that bonus of nine. Both just any buff effects, so sort of that charge effect will work. And that, and that makes sense. Repel 4, and fix speed defense minus 4 on the full train combat. If the skill converts his speed to the full ally speed, it's treated as a plus 7. So that could so somewhat eat makes it easier for your speed, basically. For your speed reductions. Speaking of which, if he uh, speeds the foe, reduce damage from effects during combat and their fixed budgets, it's getting Roger. For anyone's wonder, Roger's a post battle special, which is why they have to keep saying that. By the damage stats by times five by a percentage, so max 50 percent. Change the magic number if you can get that. And then if he uses combat, he moves full moves one space away from after combat, so it just pushes the full back one. If they, they can't move, if it's a savior skill or they just can't in general. Green for free. If in combat against a green foe, the skills of all foes exclude that foe in combat, and then affects attack speed, defense, rest minus four on the foe during combat. And then during combat, this was all the skills of green foes excluding the phones during combat. So I suppose this is, if I remember, if I'm being about this right, and I don't know what, I think I keep in the troll. It's if you're in combat against a non-green foe, every green skill is disabled. I moved the wire a little and disconnected. But and then but if you're in combat against a green foe, it's disabled skills of all foes except that foe. I think that's how I'm reading it, so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then we have Seldori. Uh, Prodigy, 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 Polearm. I don't know why I had to come read that. Hey, the Dragonic Aura is too charged again, thanks to the weapon. Boost at the start of combat, PSP is 25% or above. Attack speed defense was fight to her. Neutralize effects guarantees full total attack and prevents hers. And during combat, reduces the foe's attack and defense during combat equal to equal by X percent of her speed at the start of combat. X is 5 times the number of her max HP and attack speed defense reds stats that are no more than 5 higher than the foe's corresponding stats of the cigar come up. Max is 10. So a little bit of stack comparison essentially is what I was doing here. Uh, attack speed catch 4. If the foe's HP is 100% or if is active on them, attack speed plus 7. If both are mad, that bonus is 9. And apparently it's just any debuffs on the foe. So I think the, think the ideal is set for first. And then attack speed hold free, attack speed minus four in the full swing free spaces during combat. Then we have Latetsia with a current attack plus three. That's flawed. Then at the start of combat, if HP is twenty five percent or above, attack plus six during combat, attack minus six in the full during combat. She's guaranteed to follow up. Unfixed plan to attack speed defense raise on the full 
So during combat, based on the number of the following conditions that are applied, ten three max is nine. If an ally is in space, if an ally is in three spaces of her, if another foe is in the two spaces of the target, if a bonus active on her or if a penalty is active on foe. Yes, she has a little bit of conditions, but it could work. We want to cover Trikonagora. Attack rest catch four. It's just the attack rest version of Sadori's. Attack rest far chance three. And it was Kanto and Rinning. Rinning and then attack rest minus three on the full turn card. And Kanto just basically means after attack, assist skill, or structure destruction. She can move again. In this case, it's whatever her remaining spaces were. Because uh, she's like a cavalier, she is free. So if she moves like two and then attacks, it's then shooting up one. Before it's only one. But if she doesn't move, she's got all three. So then it works that way. Uh, once per turn, by the way, uh, standard rules apply. Cannot warp. Uh, if something triggers like Gale Force, it doesn't trigger Kanto first. It, well, Gale Force will trigger first. And things like that. And then we have Ruse Attack Rest 4. At the turn, if she's not just an ally, Attack Rest plus 6 tier and no panic tier for one turn. No panic if she's infected with the panic. Next status, which is confirmed bonuses and penalties. Nurgeize is the confirmed bonuses the pel these effect for one turn. It's still treated as a debuff, by the way. So that stat still remains and still treated as that. And that's about it. So best thing your summons unless uh, we we're probably gonna play chapter soon with us going to the first of eight. And of course, you know we have a last night banner, so really up to you in that one. Nonetheless, if you want something that's more go nuts, I'm not, I'm not your parent. So yeah. Pestling your summons. I'm just going for Stadori. I see you I don't have. And I do. For a split second, I thought that was Cordelia. I don't know why. Well, we have her. HP down, defense up. Okay, that's fine. We might not go into a focus bottom, not the f legendary. Damn it. Anyway, best on your summons. I'll see you next time.